After 180 plus hours in Barotrauma, I thought it was about time to do a proper review of this 2D submarine simulation and survival game. The first thing that you'll notice is that there are not many games like this on the market, and it's more of a combination and development of some great indie games from the last 10 years. And out of the gate, this is something I really like when playing new games. Finding developers who understand good gameplay, take elements from other games that were done well, and then pour on top of that their own creative flair to generate new mechanics, content, and gameplay that is just as fun to play and explore. I say that, and in Barotrauma's case, it's still in early access, with more content and development to come from the Fake Fish and Undertow Games Studios. During my time playing the game, there have been two major updates that didn't just add features to the game, but actually made it more fun and enjoyable to play. Multiple mission rounds, new missions, turrets, and ship overhauls were just some of the small quality of life updates that has made the game so much more rich and interesting. This is attributed really to the development team having a solid vision for the future, as well as listening to the community about their pains and what they wanted to see as players. The Barotrauma Discord is a buzzing hub of creativity, memes, and people that want to express, connect, and build together. A successful game is defined by its community, and I think Barotrauma is only just getting started here. But more on that later. So let's talk about the good. First off, the diversity of missions. Each station you arrive at will give you between three to five missions. These will see you explore caves to mine resources and kill monsters, transport people and cargo, fight off monolithic monsters and swarms, salvage wrecks and ancient ruins, as well as fight off pirate submarines and bandits. Its extensive variety means that your play sessions can last for hours upon end. But I think what really sets this game apart is the journey. It's the journey that your submarine needs to take and the importance that that has on the game itself. Your submarine is everything. It can be completely destroyed down to its structural core, ripped of all its cargo, items and inhabitants. To keep it afloat, you need to constantly repair damage caused by pirates, monsters, and the general degradation of systems. This requires an entire team to constantly be running around and attending to the different machinery and needs of the crew. It's this attention to detail that impacts the journey and adds the depth and randomization to each gameplay session. Even if you repeat a mission, no two playthroughs are exactly the same. The maps are randomly generated, as well as the mobs and resources that you find. The care for your vessel extends beyond just keeping it afloat. You can modify your ship on the go by adding buttons, smart components, and rewiring systems to fit your playstyle. You can automate doors and increase the output of reactors and shift the power usage throughout the entire submarine. The more I experience and interact with other players, the more I learn about the innovative and clever ways to extend and push the functionality of the submarines. I feel I have just scratched the surface of what's truly possible in the game. And it doesn't just stop there. Barotrauma has a complete submarine editor. You can, from scratch, build the submarine that you want to sail. There is a very special level of ownership in creating some Thing that on a functional level suits your playstyle, but at the same time is aesthetically pleasing. And then to go one further, they allow you to share your creations with the community on the Steam Workshop. Every time you think you've done it all, or you've experienced everything that the game has to offer, there's something new that you discover and that it changes your perception of the game and almost forces you to do something new. These layers of complexity and depth set it apart from other games on the market. And I feel for years to come, people will be talking about what Barotrauma got right. So this brings us on to what did they get wrong? It would be an unfair and biased review if I didn't talk about the bad. And every game, however good or perfect people make it out to be, has something about it that sucks. So first off, when playing the solo campaign, you will be spending a lot of time navigating the submarine. The autopilot system shuts off occasionally when an ice spire has been detected, and there are other times when it just seems to stop on its own. This is even with an NPC who has been given the order to navigate to the destination. As such, you have to navigate to and from missions and points of interest by yourself. 
Whilst this does have its moments of excitement when you see incoming waves of enemies, I would say that mostly this is uneventful and gets tedious quickly. The second is doing the missions themselves on the solo campaign, not the mission aspect itself, but the preparation for each mission becomes time consuming and tedious. You will need to grab weapons, medical supplies, and make sure you have enough oxygen and power to run any electrical devices that you take with you. This is because NPCs currently don't have build orders for fabricators, and they don't unload batteries or O2 cylinders from the oxygen generators. This results in a lot of manual work that you will be doing in preparation for each mission on top of navigating your submarine. Dying has a mention here as well. Whilst it is a required aspect of the game, there are definitely times where you get immediately killed by something and there was very little you could have done to prevent it. This can seem very unfair and is not really based on skill or preparation. It was just bad luck of the draw. For example, when there are four mud raptors and you're by yourself outside the submarine, unless you have stimulants already active, it is highly unlikely that you will survive the encounter, as they stun lock you one after the other, preventing you from fighting back. You can bring extra crewmates with you, which will definitely help, but they have an annoying habit of putting themselves in the line of fire and they will shoot through you if you're in the way. Also, they won't carry crates with them, so if you're doing a salvage or mining mission, you will be running back and forth with all the loot yourself. Despite these faults, the developers have signaled that they are aware of these issues and do plan to change them in the future, which brings us nicely onto talking about the game's potential. When it comes to potential, Barotrauma has an advantage, as it's an early access game, meaning that change is most definitely going to happen. As a standalone single player game, there is already a rich experience that definitely justifies the price tag for the gameplay time and content that you receive. There is already a good mix of mission types, objectives, upgrades, and items in the game. The easiest thing I can see here from a potential perspective is to add more variety to all of them. Now, if we bring multiplayer into the equation, this is where I see the game's biggest potential. Already the developers have talked about some great quality of life features that will see wallets, items, and contributions be more player specific. This will give individuals a greater sense of achievement and progression, as currently everything goes to the captain of the ship. If they were then to add faction specific content that helped the multiplayer experience and or gave certain advantages in terms of clothing, items, resources and missions, this would elevate playstyles, alliances and objectives in the game. The cherry on the cake for me would be to then make everything persistent and affect multiple game worlds on a larger scale. I feel this would propel the game to new heights and attract a much larger audience. This is all subjective pipe dreams for now, but I am keen to see what the future holds for Barotrauma and what they're going to add next. Next, I want to talk about influence. I think that the developers have done an excellent job in building new core cool mechanics that actually open up the potential for more engaging and intensive gameplay in other genres. I myself have always wondered what an MMORPG space game would be where ship travel was as dangerous as the mission you set out on. The mechanics around repairing the submarine and keeping all systems in check set the narrative for a journey in a game being as important as the destination. And everyone you travel with plays an important role ensuring you make it there. It's the complexity about the journey that, in my opinion, has the potential to influence the next generation of games. And I honestly can't wait to see what's next for the development team and others who get inspired by this truly unique gameplay. This brings us on to community. Every game that becomes truly successful is based on the players themselves. The online community not only brings people together for the enjoyment of a game, but they help to build it out with feature suggestions, content expansions, and quality of life improvements. These serve to help the longevity of a game and allow it to go the distance, to be immortalized in the gaming hall of fame, not just as an award, but as a defining nostalgia where you can look back and remember the fun that you had. 
beyond the raft of plans that the developers themselves have and the suggestions from everyone who is emotionally invested in the game, the community helps to expand in other ways. There has been from the very early stages of the game an eager and willing modding community. They have been hard at work creating custom models, submarines, extending the campaign content and adding more items and monsters that change the gameplay experience. The community of the game is expanding rapidly and providing more suggestions and feedbacks and mods that help to grow and enrich Barotrauma. Which brings us on to the multiplayer experience. And this is where the game really shines. Honestly, it's the best part of playing games. Collaboration, exploration and discovery with friends or new acquaintances is the action we all crave for. There are countless times over the years where an online multiplayer experience has left lasting memories and Barotrauma is no exception here. I have been live streaming with some of the subscribers from the channel and it's an experience within itself. In fact, the game was developed with multiplayer first in mind. The more I play online, the more I realize I've been doing my whole Barotrauma experience backwards, starting off with a solo campaign and then moving into multiplayer. Perhaps the criticism here for the multiplayer experience is that to get started, find crewmates or configure settings, it's just too complicated. I do hope the developers focus on streamlining that whole process of matchmaking and getting online so that more people can engage with some of the best parts of the game. This leads us on to the conclusion of this review. If I was to sum up the game with a one-liner, like a popular gaming review channel, my comments would be as follows. 8 out of 10. Worth more than its weight in gold with a complex, challenging and fun experience. With the justification of reducing two points based on the fact I know they're going to make it better. There's more to come from this game, so definitely watch that space and I look forward to seeing that 8 turn into the full 10 it deserves. As a final recommendation to any new, existing or considering players, jump either into my own Discord channel or the one from the official site. Find some willing crewmates and partake on a multiplayer adventure. I promise you won't be disappointed. Links will be in the video description below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you'd like to see more from me. And until next time, peace. Na, na, na.